Sarah Sybil is with us today. She's a lead teacher consultant for the deaf and hard of hearing with Ottawa Area Intermediate School District and a part-time online instructor as well. Hi, Sarah. Hi there, Mitch. Thanks for coming on. I understand that you uh, won an award, the Online Teacher of the Year Award. Uh, You've been teaching online for three years. Uh, Talk to us about the challenges of that and maybe anything that you've learned from COVID where everybody had to go online, particularly when you're working in the environments that you are. Certainly. Well, the pandemic sure brought a different type of online learner. You know, for years there have been online learners pursuing um, awesome offerings through virtual schools. Um, And with the pandemic, we had a different type of online learner, kids who were forced into online learning and really didn't know that online learning does have a teacher on the other end of the screen, a real expert teacher who wants to engage with students, who cares deeply about her students, and the content. Um, And so I think it's important um, for students to know, for parents to know, um, and even our school districts, our local school districts who are partnering with Michigan Virtual to offer courses, that it's important to connect with the teachers on the other end, to share struggles, ask for help, really just to engage. Our pandemic learners told us they weren't motivated to be in the classroom because they wanted the classroom, that culture, that feel of interacting with with one another, their peers and their teachers alike. So that's something I've really learned a lot, is how to create that culture of classroom through the screen. You know, I want to ask you this question as, as a teacher who's done both. Which do you think is tougher for a kid to overcome? Learning on a screen or learning in person, but everybody's masked, the teacher and the student? Well, uh, it really depends on what type of learner you are. Online learners, by and large, tend to be real self-motivated, organized, uh, routine, and scheduled type of kids. Um, They thrive on um, setting their own schedules and working at their own pace, and I love that flexibility with online learning. The challenge with uh, being face-to-face and being masked, um, some of it, you know, is the auditory piece, often even the body language cues. Um, However, that face-to-face learning for some students is just what they need. So um, I think that it really is unique to each individual learner. However, great things can happen in each realm. Now, you teach American Sign Language online, and so you're talking about the auditory piece, and you know, you're know you used to dealing without the auditory piece anyhow. What, what does sign language online look like? How is it different from a face-to-face classroom version? Yeah, so American Sign Language online, by, by its nature, it's a very visual language, and so it's all on screen, so lots of videos. Students are signing just to me, I'm signing back just to them. Um, there are opportunities for students to engage with one another, um, signing videos and posting them to a class board um, to see one another signing. Um, I think the difference with face-to-face and, and online with American Sign Language particularly is that lack of immediate Um, feedback and confirmation there's also a little bit of a limited signing space on a screen right so you might not see some of the mannerisms that are available you got to make sure your 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 hand doesn't go out of the frame yeah (laughs) correct things things you don't have to normally think about sarah it's an incredible (laughs) thing what incredible thing what you do and uh my hat is off to you my hat's off to all teachers um but uh especially those who are working with the deaf and and with other challenges, uh, it's it, it's just so valuable. I, I, if I if I controlled the world, you'd be the billionaires of the world, and people mm-hmm. who are making uh, computer chips would make five bucks an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't control the world. But we do control this segment, and we thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you, Mitch. Sarah Sybil, there, uh, lead teacher consultant for the deaf and hard of hearing with the Ottawa Area Intermediate School District.